1958 Le Mans, the thing I remember most about it uh, was my decision uh, that that would be my very last Le Mans. Uh, the reason for this was nothing uh, to do with my accident uh, the previous year in 1957. It was just that once again, in the middle of the morning, this fateful uh, three or four o'clock, I think it was, I think the race had been wet, virtually the whole of the, um, uh, uh, the, whole of the uh, event uh, to that point. And um, I would, I'd run out of um, underclothing and, and socks, and uh, I really uh, came to my turn about three o'clock in the morning, and I found that all my stuff, I couldn't dry any of my stuff. So, I had to pull on uh, wet underpants, you know, wet vest, wet socks, and get into a motor car at three o'clock in the morning. And I said, if you ever do this motor race again, you need your head examining. And I never did. And I drove for Fry in 1959 on the strict understanding that I wouldn't have to race at the Mont, which was really quite something, because I think I was the first the Ferrari driver that had um, obtained a dispensation from driving at Le Mans. Uh, from uh, Enzo Ferrari, because obviously it was a very important race from his point of view uh, on the spa sports car side. Less than an hour to go, and Sterling and the Aston make their lap total 188, as into the pits they go for the final routine stop. Victory lies an hour away. Aston Martin have never lost a long-distance race at Goodwood and Sterling is determined that this race will prove no exception to that rule. Well, the 59 TT was also rather dramatic for me because although I drove for Aston Martin uh, for four years, um, in 1959 I was driving a Ferrari and I was here in the TT with the Ferrari and um, I had the unfortunate experience of arriving at Levant, Levant Corner after a pit stop and uh, uh, found myself in no brakes and I had to drive onto the infield and spin the car uh, round to stop it and uh, it transpired that uh, very unusual for Ferrari that um, somebody had forgotten to put a split pin in the um, one of the pads and the pads came out and of course um, all the uh, hydraulic fluid was uh, deposited on the road at St. Mary's. Um, I then had to share the car with uh, Dan Gurney and of course uh, Dan Gurney is a pretty big lad and I was uh, in a seat sort of about four sizes too big for me. So um, I think, um, I don't know, did we finish third? I think we finished third here in the TT, but we really needed to win it, and the, the Manufacturers' Championship was at stake, so uh, I uh, very much regret that uh, exciting moment at uh, Levant Corner. I shared a car with Tony Brooks here in the Ferrari in 1959, which uh, was a big thrill. We ended up with sharing fastest lap that day. Maybe a new lap record, I don't remember that, but... Five more minutes to go. Moss is on his way at an average of 89.41 miles an hour to win his fifth TT and score Aston Martin's third TT win.